figure skater Adelia Petrosian performed a cascade quadruple flip, triple Ritberger in training. The video was published on the social network of the team of Atari Tutberids. This season, Petrosian performed at one stage of the Russian Grand Prix, first place, at the Russian Championship was fifth. Camilla Valiva fell off the triple axle at the Moscow Sports Cup. The skater performed her short program. This season Camilla has not yet managed to perform the triple axle cleanly in competition. She hit it in the short program at the Russian Championship in Krasnoyarsk, but did a butterfly. After the short program, Camilla Valiva refused to talk to reporters. The head of the U.S. anti-doping agency is dissatisfied with Ruzeta's involvement in the case of Camilla Valyova. Earlier, the Disciplinary Anti-Doping Committee of the Russian Anti-Doping Agency, Ruzeta DAC, which is an independent body, found the figure skater not guilty of a doping violation. But then it became known that Ruzeta appealed the verdict to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CS. Allowing an organization that does not comply with the rules, Ruzeta does not have World Anti-Doping Code compliance status now because of violations, to be a party to such a process is hard to understand. As is the fact that they are allowed to make the original decision, which is now being appealed. We can only hope that they, Ruzeta, will not impede an open, public and expedited hearing or otherwise influence a fair outcome based on the rules and hard facts of the case said Travis Tegert, head of USADA, Alexandra Trusova, silver medalist of the 2022 Olympics, and Yevgeny Plushenko, two-time Olympic champion, gave a demonstration performance at the opening ceremony of the Children of Asia International Sports Games in Kemerova. The Children of Asia Games are held in Kuzbase from February 23 to March 5. Figure skater Alina Gorbacheva spoke about her difficult relationship with her mother. The Russian junior champion lives with her coach Sofia Fedchenko. You said that at first your parents were shocked that you became an athlete. Now do they support your choice? I would not like to touch this subject too much. I don't communicate with my mom very well. At one point she did not want me to do figure skating, that it was a waste of time, effort, money and health. I did not agree with her, so our contact is not very good. After the Russian Championships, did your mother congratulate you? Well, she congratulates me, we write each other and see each other from time to time. But I wouldn't say it's a mother-daughter relationship. We've been like this for quite a long time. I'm pretty much used to it. And how does your dad feel about your decision? My dad. He stayed in Krasnodar, he didn't move, but we communicate well. My mom lives in Moscow, she moved. The disagreements occurred here already. At first, when I moved from Krasnodar, I lived with my mom, but when we moved to the Genesis rink, my mom couldn't move to Kimkia. How difficult is it to be in contact with the coach all the time? Roughly speaking, when you come out of practice, you want to feel distracted, but the training session is still going on. I got used to it. Sofia Anatolievna always helps me understand my emotions, she sometimes understands my state of mind better than I do. She helps me get out of it. So to speak, sometimes I have bad trainings and after them I start to get nervous, to get depressed. Sofia Anatolievna helps me to calm down and figure things out. And the next day I go out with a clear head. She supports me very much in everything. She is like a mother to me already. No, it's clear that she's the coach. But still like a mom, Gorbacheva said. Alina Gorbacheva also told how she began figure skating. You came into figure skating quite late, didn't you? Yes, when I was seven years old. It is very late for modern figure skating. It happened because I wanted to do it myself at about six and a half years. My girlfriend invited me to a birthday party at the rink and there I stood up on skates for the first time. I liked it, and I began to ask my mother to just go to the rink. And then one day I saw a girl skating and doing some elements. They weren't hard, 
but for me it was just wow how cool, I got excited and wanted to learn to skate, too. My mother called different sections, but they refused her, they said the girl was too late, we wouldn't take her at six and a half. Then one day we were walking at the mall and saw that there was a girl on a small rink with a trainer. We went up to him and he took me. I started at the mall, at the same small rink. At first I went there three times a week for an hour, then I started to do it a little bit and it grew to six days. Then I started to make progress and we decided to move to a stronger trainer. That's how it all began. Less than greater than. Was it difficult to convince your parents that sport is the right choice? My parents were a little shocked at first. My mom didn't mind when I first started going to classes. But when I said that I wanted to go to Moscow to Sofia Anatolievna, Fedchenko, she was surprised, of course. I said it straightforwardly, Mom, that's it, I'm moving to Moscow. She accepted my choice and let me go. At first I stayed only two weeks at Sofia Anatolievna's and two weeks in Krasnodar. And at about nine years of age I finally moved. Do you remember the coaches I had in Krasnodar? My first professional coach was Oksana Konstantinovna Grishchenko, she taught me a lot, although I trained with her for a short time. Then she went on maternity leave, and I went to Vitaly Yuryevich Malahov. He used to train with Sofia Anatolievna, they get along well. At one point he left for a competition with the other girls, and Sofia Anatolievna was just in Krasnodar. He asked her very much to take me, I'm going away, take a girl for now, she's very nice, go for a ride with her. At first neither my mom agreed, because she did not like to change coaches, nor Sofia Anatolievna. She just came to have a rest, she had no plans to work. But in the end they both agreed. From the first class I fell in love with her, realized that I wanted to go skating with her. That she was my kind of person. What attracted you to her? You know, sometimes you just look at a person and you realize that he's mine. You feel him or something. That's what happened to me from the first class. First I began to go to her in Moscow, then we rode in Tier. Sofia Anatolievna had two local girls, we all skated there together, I went to school there, I began to represent Fier. And then we began skating in Moscow. Less than greater than. Sofia Anatolievna said that during one of the difficult moments she suggested that you change coaches. That happened, but I do not want to change coaches. I think that I will achieve everything with my coaches. I am 100% sure of that. Do you want to spend your whole career with the current coaches? That's a very strong statement. I'm confident in our overall success. And if I think so, why not? Said the Russian junior champion. 